guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little uh, mini review of um, some Too Faced products. And as you saw by the title, um, these are the first Too Faced products that I have bought in, in four years. Um, I guess I was kind of like um, on a two-faced no-buy because um, it was long before what happened with Nikki, T Nikki Tutorials and Tati and Jeffree Star. Um, I want to say this has been like four years ago I kind of um, stopped buying Too Faced products just because... Um, I bought a palette and um, I was really disappointed in it and um, I just kind of noticed from there on that um, the quality of, um, it was an all purple palette so um, I love purple eyeshadows and I know that they're some of the hardest eyeshadows to um, formulate and I kind of feel like if you're gonna do purples do it right or just don't do it don't put out these chalky half-assed shitty purple colors that's what I honestly think about um if you're gonna do purple shades just put out really awesome purple shades or don't do it if they're gonna be chalky and patchy and all of that but um yeah they uh, it just put a really sour taste in my mouth, that palette, and then I just kind of noticed that purples and bright colors were always, if they did put them in, were always like chalky and just not good colors, and they just seemed to spit out the same palette over and over again, and then when all that other drama, um, happened, um... His sister actually was the biggest reason I didn't want to uh, buy stuff from Too Faced because uh, she just came off like a complete psycho. And um, if I was Jared, I would have put a muzzle on her and told her, listen, bitch, shut up and do not say anything and do not represent my company like that because you are going to make me lose money. Um, but yeah, that's how I would have handled it, but, uh, that's enough blabbing. Let's jump into my little mini haul. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is I got the, uh, Too Faced Diamond Light Multi-Use Diamond Fire Highlight. And I have to say, you get a lot of product with this. You get, um, 12 grams or 0 0.42 ounces and this was $34, and it comes in this beautiful box like this. And then when you open it, there's another um, box in it. Um, it reminds me of like a Cartier box. Um, this button down here is ornamental. You can just lift it up, and then you have the highlight, which is right there. And it is this beautiful iridescent highlight. Let me swatch it. So that's what it looks like on the fingers. And then let me do a concentrated swatch. That's what it looks like. And then on this hand, I don't know if you can see it, I took a brush and um, kind of buffed it out it's um like all over this part of my hands. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. But um yeah, this um is what it looks like buffed out. This is um what a heavy swatch of it looks like. It's a beautiful multi um dimensional um highlight it's um definitely duochrome it um depending on your skin tone um or if you want to put a base on underneath because i am wearing it right now i have um i put one of those l'oreal um galaxy highlighter sticks on underneath i put the pink one underneath so it's picking up more of the pink shift in fact, in fact, let me put a little bit more on. Why not? 
do a little quick demo for you guys. So um, with this, I find that um, you have to use a really stiff brush or a really nicely densely packed brush. I'm using the BH Cosmetics 128 brush. So let me just do some highlight, quickly add on. So that's what it looks like. Let me just buff it out a little. Put a little down the nose. Cupid's bow, so that's what, how intense you can make it look. Um, I gotta blend it out a little. Like, I wouldn't walk out with a stripe like that. Um, but you can really definitely make it really beautiful and intense. And then you can also kind of make it, it's still intense this way, but this isn't as intense. Let me just add a little extra for what was left over on my brush. And then just blend in. Okay, so it's a beautiful highlight, as you can see. Um, it is a baked uh, gelée formula, so um, that's why you definitely need... Uh, it definitely um, works better with a denser brush or just putting it on with your fingers. Okay, so then I got the Too Faced Chocolate Gold um, palette. This is what the box looks like. It is um, a mix of mattes and metallics. You get, um, I think, four um, mattes in here. The mattes, I think, are a little powdery and soft, but not the end of the world. And um, the uh, special claims, they say, is that uh, it's made with natural cocoa powder and real gold. And supposedly there's real diamonds in uh, this highlight, whatever. Um, I guess whatever to sell your products, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, this is, and then on the back of the box, it'll, it shows you what the colors are, um, and um, it says, what does it say on the back? Uh, Take decadence to the next level with a luxurious gold and cocoa powder infused eyeshadow palette that smells as good as it looks. Have a major metallic moment with foiled shadows that are created, created with real gold for an epic high shine finish that's paired with rich seductive mattes for coffee to cocktail wear. All shadows feature a soft velvety texture with full co coverage payout. This enti the entire palette is infused with skin loving cocoa powder for a decadent chocolate scent. Um, so the price of this was $49, uh, you get 14 shades, and, um, the, uh, what is it, net weight is 0.80 grams and 0 .0, 0 0.03 ounce, total net weight is 11.2 grams, um, and 0.42 ounces. Um, and those two big shadows are, um, total net weight, 3.6 grams or 0.12 ounces. Or each one is 1.80 grams and 0 0.06 ounces. So, of course, Too Faced kills it with the packaging. This is what it looks like. It looks like you've got the gold dripping down the chocolate bar. Um, it does smell like chocolate. It's not very strong. And then this is what the palette looks like. Um, if I was Too Faced, I would have taken a few of the neutrals out and put some more fun... Um, 
metallic, uh, like, um, fun pops of color for the metallic shades, but that's, um, what I would have done. But they do give you a few pops of color. They give you old money, new money, living lavish, and holla for a dollar. Um, and Dripping Diamonds and Rich Girl are all kind of like pops of color or not, um, golds or browns. I would have taken one or two of these goldy brown colors out and just put another pop of color in here. Um, let me do a few swatches for you guys quickly. Um... So this is what some of the colors look like. And then let me just swatch them on my hand. They do, um, if you want to um, use Fix Plus, they um, look really beautiful. If you put them on that way, you can also, also just do it um, you know, dry and pack it on. I would use a base of some sort to, um, have the shadows in here because you will get fallout. So as you can see, these are beautiful foil co colors. I have no primer on my hand. Um, this pink color does have a little bit of micro glitter in it, but it doesn't, um, as long as you use a sticky base, it's not going to fall over your eyes. I am wearing it right now. Um, I'm wearing as a base, um, one of those Tarte, um, chrome shadow pots. I think I'm wearing Martini or Park Avenue Princess underneath, but, um, yeah. And then I have, um, in, on my brow bone, I think I have, yeah, I have Rich Girl on my brow bone. So, um, I really like this palette. Um, I think Too Faced could have been a little bit more daring with it, but, um, from what their other palettes look like, this is, I think, a big step up for them, and hopefully, um, that they will release more palettes that are, um, more interesting and have more pops of color that actually work and they um just stop you know spitting out the same old warm tone palettes they're coming out with another freaking peach collection yeah this one is more cool tone but like i think you've beaten the peaches into the ground the peaches are rotten and decaying move on to something else um like i originally wasn't gonna get the this gold chocolate bar palette because I kind of like was like well they've had the ch gold or uh, they've had the chocolate bar forever aren't they kind of beating the dead horse with this but um when I saw the swatches and swatched it myself I was r really wanted the palette and I was really shocked that Too Faced got me. I was like, you finally got me Too Faced. After four years, you finally put another palette out that I was interested in. So, um, I definitely would recommend this palette. I like it. Um, it's good for people who like neutrals and just want to use, like, a little bit of a pop of color for fun, but it does have enough in there that if you like color, you can do some fun color looks with them. And then the highlight I also really like. You can use that as an eyeshadow or a highlight. Um, I really like using it on the inner corners or sometimes on the brow bones. So, and it also works good as an eyeshadow topper too. So, um, Good job, Too Faced. Hopefully you put out some more good uh, products like this, and I will speak to you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.